What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. I'm back with another mod tutorial for you guys, man. Today, we're going to be installing Simple Trainer. Man, this is one of the best trainers out there right next to Menu. So, man, we're going to be downloading this today. So, for this mod, we're going to need Scripthook V and we're going to need ScriptHookV.net. I'm going to leave a link to all the links in the description. I'm going to leave the Simple Trainer, Scripthook V, and the ScriptHookV.net. And we're just going to make sure that we read everything in the description, you know, the usual stuff. And then you guys can go ahead and click your download button. Now let's go ahead and jump into installing ScriptHookV and ScriptHookV.net first. Let's start off with ScriptHookV.net. Now you're gonna have a license file, readme file, and you're gonna have six ScriptHookV.net files, okay? So all of those six files, we are gonna take that and we are gonna drag that into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, okay? So once you guys do that, you're all set for scripthookv.net. Let's move on to scripthookv. All right, so we're gonna open up our scripthookv folder and we're gonna open up the bin folder, all right? All right, now hear me out, guys. I did already install scripthookv and I tried to I tried to uh, download it again so I can show you guys how to install it, but I was having some issues, man. I couldn't figure it out. So I'm just gonna let you guys know what files you need to drag and drop, all right? So the two files we're gonna need to drag and drop into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory is the dimput 8dll and the scripthookv.dll. Once you guys drag and drop both of those into your um, Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, you're all good to go. Let's get into let's get into Simple Trainer. Let's install Simple Trainer. Let's go ahead and get ready to open up our Simple Trainer folder. It's gonna say Trainer V, okay? Trainer V, and we're gonna have two files that we need to drag and drop. There's five. We're gonna take the Trainer V and the Trainer V dot ASI, and we're gonna take we're gonna take both of those files and we're gonna drag that into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, and we're gonna be all set. We can go ahead and we can run GTA 5, man. Yeah. All right, so once y'all spawn in the game, man, I, first of all, I want to apologize for the background. I, I think Franklin done got a little crazy last night. But uh, to, open, <laughs> to open up the simple trainer, man, we're going to be pressing F3. So to open up the trainer, press F3, okay? Now, if you guys are wondering, yes, you can use this with menu. Let me open up my menu real quick for you guys, man. All right, as you can see, I got my menu popping back there too. So yes, you can have both installed at the same time. You can have both in your game at the same time, man. So make sure y'all go through this trainer, man. Make sure y'all go through. It's a lot of features, man. If I if I show y'all everything you do in this in the, with this trainer, man, we gonna be here all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So definitely, man. It's a lot. You can spawn. You can spawn a, a bodyguard, an attacking pet. You can, you can you can you can spawn objects, teleport. You know, it's got a lot of features, man. I think I think one thing I will say is my this uh trainer is a little different from menu. So if you have menu and you really like menu, try getting simple trainer and, and let me know what you think about it. Let me know. I want y'all to let me know which one you think is better, menu or simple trainer. I want y'all to let me know in the comments, man. But if this helped you guys, man, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.